Well, my friends, I figured I'd get back on here. Talk about the this culture, this woke culture, and this transgender culture, and all this stuff that they're trying to make seem like it's normal, but it's not. Big thing is, is all they're trying to do basically is uh, they don't want people to have kids. They don't. They want the population to decline because all this woke stuff and transgender stuff, well, they don't reproduce. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> men, men can't have babies. I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. So. So basically, how I see it is, is they get on and they start telling people, you know, all this stuff, and and you got these people. I don't know. They must be demonic or something. They actually believe in that stuff. And uh, then you have less and less uh, population, less and less kids being born. Then you have a bigger problem. I mean, basically, that's what's going on in the world right now. Populations are all decreasing around the world. I mean, population in this country is going to decrease. Baby boomers. I mean, they had 78 million baby boomers, and eh, they're about halfway done retiring. So, yeah, you're not going to need as much. Things will slow down. Economy will slow down. That's just... Take 78 million people out of an economy. I mean, not all at once, but I mean, as it, as they, you know, pass on, it just it just doesn't need as much. You don't need as much uh, every, anything, you know. So, and then they're then they're gonna have to figure out how to screw you around on your uh, carbon CO2. <laughs> I think that's uh, as, uh, anybody who's got a common sense knows that CO2. Sh it's just a bunch of bullshit. Fact of the matter is, is plants love it. It's like fertilizer to plants. You could actually increase the CO2 by probably another 15, 20%, and the plants will thrive. They like that. But they don't want to tell you that. It's amazing how uh, they get out there and they just kind of bamboozle people, I guess. Because they just, they don't want people to be informed. Just like this woke stuff. They don't want you to be informed. That's okay. Let's keep the population uh, decreasing. Yeah. Hell, in China, more people are dying in China every day than, than any place in the world. I mean, I uh, forget what it was. Another 20, maybe 25 years, their population is going to be like cutting like half, damn near half. So I can't remember what it was, it was like 2050 or something like that. That's what they were saying. Maybe like 2050, it'd be like cutting half. I don't know. Do you think we got that long? <laughs> China was coming to an end anyhow just because they don't have the workforce. The workers keep getting older and older and they don't have enough young ones out there. Then they want to take you to war so they can kill the best and brightest you have, the young, and uh, you're going to have a real problem then, won't you? Who's going to build all this stuff? Oh, that's right, you won't need as much. In a compact city especially. Yeah. My God, Klaus Schwab, he's got her all figured out, he does. That World Economic Forum, Bill Gates and that, oh, they got her figured out. Yep, they're going to tell you that you can't do this and can't do that, but by God, we're going to fly around on our private jets and have our big McMahon, well, no, they don't have McMansions. They do have mansions, probably many of them, and their big yachts and everything else, sure. You, you can't have a rowboat. Too many carbon, you know, causes what, well, it's a rowboat. Well, uh, well, 
Yeah, it cost me. It, it took carbon, the, the, the pollutants and everything to build that rowboat. That's it. Oh, okay. So I can't have a rowboat. Okay. It even cost more to build these electric cars. <laughs> cost more CO2 and everything to build an electric car. But they want to go out there and tell you you can't raise crops and can't raise cattle and a whole bunch of other stuff because, well, let's see. Hmm. Oh, that's right, CO2. Plants love it. Whatever, folks. Anyways, I just want to get on here quick. Got to head in here pretty quick. Y'all take care. My gosh. Just keep thanking God, asking for grace and mercy. Keep praying for one another. And find that joy, things that make you happy in life that, because they're just trying to rob that from you. They're trying to rob all that, that, the goodness out of your life. Don't, don't let them do it. Don't let them do it. Keep a smile on your face and, and and your heart happy and your mind free and concentrating on God. It's all that matters. That's what matters in life. God put us here to honor him and help one another. So, you folks, you take care now.